class. Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Do you see what I have behind me? What is it? It's a ruler. Do you notice that it goes all the way to the number 12? Hmm. Is it the same size as a ruler that you would usually use? Oh dear, no. Usually rulers are this big. They are 12 inches exactly. I made mine a lot bigger so that we can see it a little bit better on the board. Hmm. Usually when we're measuring or drawing lines to inches, we count by one. One inch, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 12 inches. But today, I would like for us to do something just a little bit different. I would like for us to count and draw lines to half of an inch. What would half of an inch be? Well, it'd be taking an inch and cutting it right in half. So I'm gonna do that on the board and if you have a ruler, I would like for you to find half of an inch on the ruler. Hmm, let's see if this is one inch, half of an inch would be right in between. And then I'm gonna put half of an inch between the one and a two and half of an inch between the two and the three and then between the three and a four, between the four and the five, and all the way down our ruler. I'm gonna draw half of an inch. Now, I want you to count with me. Before, when we were counting inches, we were just counting one, two, three, four, but this time, I want us to count the halves as well. We're gonna start right here at zero, and we're gonna start by counting half. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine, Nine, to, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, eleven, eleven and a half, and then twelve. Well done. If I were to draw a line using my ruler, I could draw a line to be so many inches long or so many inches and a half long. So I think I'm gonna draw a line that is one and a half inches long. So if I start right here in, at zero and I could draw it one and a half inches. One and a half inches. I could go even further and maybe do five and a half inches. That means my line would have to keep going all the way to number five and then keep going to the half. It's halfway between the five and the six. That's five and one half. Hmm, do you think I could try drawing a line a little bit longer? What about nine and a half inches? Let's keep going. We go all the way to nine and then halfway between nine and 10. That's nine and one half inches. Well, we're gonna take a closer look at this. Let's take a minute to look a little more closely at measuring to the nearest half an inch. Well, if we were to use this sheet to draw some lines, and if we started by measuring three inches, I wanna remind you that we don't start at the very end of the ruler, we start at the first line, the zero line. And we need to hold our ruler so that it doesn't 
fall and slip in our fingers. I'm going to start at the zero line and go past the one, the two, and go all the way to three. Well, this one is going to be shorter because it is asking for a line to be two and a half inches long. So I'm going to do two, but my one half is right in the middle between the two and the three. That is two and a half. Well, this is asking us to draw a one and a half inches. So I'm going to start here at the zero and go one and then halfway between the one and the two. That would be one and a half. Oh, this is asking us for just half of an inch. There we go, half an inch. That is not a very long line, is it? Well, what about four and a half? We go all the way to four, and then, oop, I got a little squiggly there. Four and one half. On the bottom half of our page is asking us to measure each of the line segments. When you measure, you are going to put your zero line right at the end of the line, and you measure all the way along. Oh, how long is this one? Three and, did it go all the way to four? No, it's halfway between the three and the four. So this would be three and one half. I would like for you to take some time today to practice drawing lines and measuring lines. Oh class, thank you so much for learning with me today. I hope that you have fun practicing drawing and measuring with a ruler. When you're drawing a line with the ruler, remember to hold it tightly so that it doesn't wiggle. It takes a little bit of practice, but I know that you are going to do an amazing job. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.